So here we are at the WSI stand and I have Henry with me again as I uh, often meet him uh, every year. So hello Henry, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Yeah, I'm good. Um, first thing I'd like to do Henry is every year on Cranes Etc we make some awards uh, based on what we saw in 2019 and uh, pleased to say that you won two awards and wow. the first award is for innovation something we don't necessarily see a lot of in scale models in my opinion but um, last year what we saw was the use of aluminium that's correct uh, uh, for jibs and you use that on your leap air mk140 and i think you're going to use it on your spearings model that we'll see soon um so that's a step forward i think that offers a lot of advantages in the future um in the future yes when we started it was a big pain because we need a lot of testing before we got to the right, uh, how do you call it in the end, right result, mm -hmm. to, so we can use it on the model. So aluminium is obviously lighter than die cast. Yeah. So on crane models where you've got like die cast, uh, or, or where you've got jibs in aluminium, they're a lot lighter, aren't they, than, uh, than die cast, which therefore helps the stability. And from the collector's point of view, or the quality point of view, you can paint the aluminium and it looks like a a metal part rather than plastic which sometimes has a different color doesn't it so sometimes you have to make the choices as you know in the past we uh, have used some uh, plastic um, yeah we had a lot of comments on this so that's why we changed it into aluminium okay so that's a an award for that so well done i want to we, thank you we look forward to seeing that in the future more of that uh, use of aluminium thank you very much and the second award was uh, for uh, model company of the year and uh, again this is a judgment i made about uh, looking at all the makers last year and what they did and uh, you had quite a big range of, of new models of all of all sizes and types and um, of course followed also with all your usual large array of truck models so overall i think that was a, a very good year for you it looks good from my point of view and how, how, how do you see 2019 for us it was a very successful year it is one of the best years ever um, since we are there in the, to the market um, it's of course very hard to get to the level and I hope in the future that we can stay up at the same level or even higher we'll do better yeah. yeah okay well so well done for that so here's your award for uh, model company of the year wow I'm very pleased with these two awards. Yeah, yeah. This is why you do it. For uh, we do it for the collectors also, for the OEMs, and uh, we need all your help to get this nice model made. Okay, good. So we look forward to future years and maybe more awards. I will try to do my best. Oh, I, the whole team. So we'll start having a look at some of the new stuff here at, at WSI. And um, Henry, you've had a good experience I think over the last two or three years with Volvo and I see that um, we've got some new Volvo models yeah of course uh, yeah we are very keen with the cooperation which we have with Volvo um, yeah this has resulted again in the new project which we have to make for them uh, for us it has been a long time that we made a rotor again for a company oh, yeah. so right. yeah to be honest uh, I, yeah we made a nice model not too expensive uh, it was a target price which Volvo asked us for and uh, yeah, this is more or less the result of how the model has been made and how it has been become. And uh, what I understood is that Volvo already sold the model, uh, is selling it at the moment into the market. And uh, we, we as WSI will start uh, in two, within two weeks. Okay, so this one's uh, pretty much finished and uh, delivered to Volvo. Yeah. Yeah. So nice model on a little diorama with other, other machines or of course get a couple and stick them as a load on a truck. Well, that's quite uh, quite interesting. So that's available, and uh, here's another one for Volvo. This is still a sample. It's not finished yet. Um, target is to deliver in May, uh, which I think, of course, is uh, possible because the tooling has been finished. There's some small bits and pieces which you still need to uh, change on this model. For example, here the, the cylinder, it's in in silver, but this should be chrome, of course, and some small details, but. Uh, yeah, so it's nice is looking and it's a, one of the first smaller uh, excavators which we ever made of course because up so far we did uh, yeah, the bigger, ones, the yes. bigger ones. So this is the Volvo EC220D yeah. and uh, available with uh, I think a bucket, standard bucket. Yeah. Okay and uh, should be ready mid-year if not before. So again that's another nice quality uh, small model for Volvo.
So here's another interesting model and certainly uh, looks a complex one. And this is another uh, mobile tower crane model and it's sort of a Spearings City Boy, which is a brand new machine that Spearings are bringing out. And here we have a model, it looks, looks quite finished. This is already a finished model. Um, yeah, of course on this one we also used our new technique for the boom, which we already discussed before. Um, the models we have already delivered at Spearings. And in a couple of weeks we have a meeting with Spearings and then we will find out um, when they will get into the market. Uh, because at this moment I don't know when uh, Spearings will release these models. Right. So at the moment they've all been delivered to Spearings yeah. and then we see after that yeah. what, what happens. But um, certainly the MK40 was a, was a very interesting model, uh, complex. And this looks like it's uh, very much the same kind of... This is even, I think, more complex because of the cabin. Uh, we have the cabin over here. In reality, now, now it's a driving cabin, yeah, driving along, and, yeah. but it's also used like for the cabin to get upstairs when you're using the machine. Yeah, so, so the cab has got dual functions yeah. on the real machine. Use it for driving or it actually goes up the mast, doesn't it, for, to drive the crane. So this all looks very interesting and uh, we hope to see uh, that come to the market uh, fairly soon. Of course, WSI has always been very strong in truck models, and uh, we can see here some uh, some prototypes. So, what do we have here, Henry? This is the Scania P low cap, uh, which we have made uh, for Scania. This cap, of course, we will use in the future we will, for our car transporter because of the low cap. We can use this one for heavy haulage because in heavy haulage, these kind of low caps are also very often used. And of course, we I have another model. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Bring that in. Um, I th yeah, in the past, Leaper also had a Scania used with a 1060, and yeah, that's why we also now we can use it also with a new Scania P on the 1060. So these uh, look like prototypes, or they're not, or are they nearly, nearly they are, done? This, this is the other first shot uh, from the from the tooling. Yeah are some small adjustments which we still need to do but uh, I expect that within a couple of months we can have the release and we can start with production. Okay, so that's something else for, for truck fans to yeah. look forward to. So old timers are interesting things and maybe I'm an old timer but in front of us we've got some models of uh, some old time trucks. Yeah. What are these Henry? Of course, we made some uh, Volvo Classics, uh, it's the N88, and we made some Scania's, and the Scania's we made a 110, and we made, uh, if I had it's the 86, um, for, as a model, and on the Scania you see only the, now the models with a short nose, the bonnet, um, we also made the long one, but I don't have this finished yet, so I couldn't show it yet. So this is available in a, what you're showing here is a variety of configurations, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, types of cab and yeah. uh, chassis. chassis. Where we got, how we can change it. And, uh, so when would these turn into uh, available the first, models, do you think? The first production has been finished. I think these will be available as from May uh, into the market. Yeah, and I think later on the year we will make them in, let's say, the old classic colors, how they were driving. And I think they will launch them just around summer, I think. All right, okay, so again, for collectors who are interested in, in the older type of truck, uh, these will be interesting things to, to have in a collection. Yeah. So one thing that's uh, here at the Toy Fair this year is the finished model of the Liebherr LTM 1750, so that's the big nine axle mobile crane that we saw as a prototype I think at Bauma last year yeah. and it, it's here in both Leap Hair and Mammut colours so that looks like it's very close to release now. The, uh, the Leap Hair really, uh, will be released um, next week by Leap Hair. Okay. so then we are also allowed to sell it to the collectors and uh, yeah the Mammut I don't know when it will be released exactly I think that yeah Mammut will tell uh, when they will announce it. So, so um, the one, the Mammut version here looks like it's finished, so you, you, you must be close to delivering them 
their model, so presumably that will come out there fairly soon. Yep. Um, and no doubt in future you've got a chance of making other colours um, if, if the model's popular. Yeah, of course we made already many liveries of the 7050, but they scale 1 to 87. So, uh, oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe and can... uh, how has the development of that model gone? Compared with the other cranes, it was an easier project to develop um, than the other cranes we did. Um, why? Because we have made it, maybe already made it the smaller model, of the, uh, so it was of easier course. with yeah. the data. It went more smooth. Oh, that's good. I mean, it looks, uh, from what I've seen of it here so far, it, it looks like a, a very nice and uh, detailed model. So I think um, collectors will be will be pleased to see it, and I'm sure Liebherr will be pleased with it as well. Yeah, of course, Lieb <laughs> Liebherr already saw the model, and uh, they they are very pleased with it. And uh, yeah. Now it's, we have to wait to see how the reaction of, of the collectors will yeah. be. I mean, it would be quite interesting to see a jib made for it, I guess. Although that's always a bit of a problem because how many people will really want to buy the jib and therefore is it economic? And I guess we'll have to just wait and see on that one. Maybe in the far future, maybe it will come. Yeah, I cannot tell. Yeah. Okay, good. So that's, uh, that's another uh, very interesting model to look forward to. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Henry. You, you too.